post. Today I'm going to show you how we use the payroll in Zero. So for starters we go to payroll employees and then what we're going to do is we're going to invite Tony into my payroll. That way we're giving him an invitation to be an employee of this business. So there you go, Tony's had an invitation now. So now we go to the email address for Tony and there we are. We have an invitation for iCal Beans. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to click on that invitation and we're going to follow the links. So we'll just wait for that to load up. Here we go. Okay, now what we do is we accept our invitation. And we're going to click on accept. And now we're going to create a login. So what we're going to do, create a password. And we're going to accept the terms and conditions and click create. And then we can say save. And here we are, we're into my payroll. So just give you a bit of an understanding of the payroll. You've got a few tabs, you've got your overview, you've got your details, your previous pay slips, you've got your leave tab, and you've got your timesheets. So you've got pay slip history underneath, and you can add a timesheet through here or apply a leave through there. So there you go, guys. That's how you get your first introduction to my payroll uh, in Zero. Thank you very much. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how we use the payroll function here in Zero. So we're in our My Payroll, and what we're going to do is add a timesheet. So if we just click on Add a Timesheet there, and what we want to do is we want to select a period. So, for example, let's pick next week, 2nd of October. Then all you do is click Continue, and then we're going to put in our hours that was worked for October. So, as we can see here, now Tony wants to put some rates in. So first step here, you must click ordinary hours rate. So we just want standard hours. And what we want is just to put eight hours in each day. There we are. So that's a standard 40 hour week. Um, you may, depending on your business, have a different time slot. Maybe your hours are 7.6 hours per week instead. Okay, which gives you a 38 hour week. Just depends on what your um, your company does. So either way, or you may be casual and then you might put five hours in and that's all you worked. So whatever it is, you put in your hours from the period from the days that you work in here. So for this example, we'll just put in eight hours each day. And then we're gonna add another line here for some overtime. So if Tony, for example, worked an overtime on Monday, he would then put one hour in of overtime there. So you can see if you add lines here, you can add extra rates. So for the purposes of this video and for the majority of businesses, you're only gonna ever need to put the ordinary hours in um, and maybe some overtime if you're entitled to overtime. But that's probably as complex as it gets. So then what you can do is you can then click Submit and then you can send it to an approver. So for example, Tony can select Michael to approve his timesheet, etc. And then that's it. And then you can, after you click that, or you can click multiple approvers. But for today, we'll just click one. And then if you like, you just then click submit. And then that'll go through just like that. Okay, there we are guys. So that's how we submit a timesheet through Zero. Thank you very much. All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how we add a leave application in Zero. So say Tony Mann, the employee here, wants to apply for some leave. He clicks on the Leave tab here and then clicks Apply for Leave. So then the key thing you need to discuss what type of leave it is. So you might have annual leave, or you may have personal carers leave. They're the two most common leaves. So if we're on sick leave, we'll tick personal carers leave. 
and then we'll put sick leave okay sick leave for Tony and and then what we'll do is we'll select the dates that we were sick so let's say for example next week Tony says he's sick on Monday for a full day and then Michael is the authority for that one and we can just put the date in there so as an, as an employee you can easily select that and then you can go save and send for approval you can also select save it as a draft and ask your manager if you need any questions but if you're happy with that and that's what you've done you've been sick for that day you have put it under personal carers leave if that's what you put it under if you're sick and you wrote a description and you selected the dates you're away so from the 28th to the 28th is a one full day so and if you are more than that you'd put two days you put to the 29th so then you just go save and send for approval okay and then that'll go through just load up okay so that's been that request has gone off now another thing we can also do is we can apply for annual leave so if we see here we can also choose the leave type and we can select annual leave uh, going to Spain for holiday from and let's just say Tony's away from Monday Tuesday next week and then he finishes he's going to Spain all the way through to Friday and then you can put there so from Tuesday the 29th to the 9th 15th to the 2nd the 10th 15th so what this has done is this is your application as a staff member you're going to apply and you're going to select your approval which is Michael again so basically what we're saying is please uh, employer can I please have annual leave for a holiday to Spain between these two dates once you're happy with the application you click save and you send that for approval to your manager okay so that's obviously too long so let's just keep it simple we've got the detail at the bottom All right, guys, there you go. So there's how you apply for either sick leave or annual leave through the My Payroll section of Zero for employees. Thank you very much.